Moin, der Hinek hier. I created fireworks in Godot and now I got an issue on GitHub. Who knew this could happen? Game Map asks me if I can create the fireworks as a 3D project. When I created fireworks 2020, I played with the idea to create the next project in 3D. But I haven't done much in 3D so far and am fairly inexperienced. So I will create a minimalistic project that covers the basics and maybe later build on top of it. First, let's watch some tutorials on 3D particles in Godot. Right. Change it to a sphere. So they'll spawn in a sphere shape. Box, they'll spawn in a box shape. I prefer it to have around six, but you can do however you want. Scale to like two, clear out the uh, curve. Okay, let's start. So, like Fireworks 2020, I create this project in OpenGL ES2 because I want to publish it as a HTML5 project. The first scene is for the explosion. I use a CPU particles node. This will render the particles using the CPU instead of the graphics card. But you can use the other particles node if you want to. The settings are very similar. Unlike in 2D, the particles in 3D don't show immediately. We first have to create a mesh to define how they look. So let's create a new quad mesh. That's basically a rectangle. Now they show and we added them to be smaller. Then create a new spatial material. Check transparent and unshaded. Use as albedo. Blend mode add and set the billboard mode to particle billboard. So the particles always face the camera. Then we configure the particles very similar to 2D. Let's start with 200 particles and set the explosiveness very high so they fire almost all at once. We want them to go in all directions. If you know why we have to set 180 degrees here and not 360s, please let me know in the comments. Gravity is already on. Let's try an initial velocity of 10 with full random. Maybe 15. We can play with them later. Now we create a color ramp for red fireworks. Staying red for long and then fade to full transparency. This is a bit hectic. Let's increase the time to two seconds. Like in the 2D project, we set a small U variation and make it random. When we save the scene and run it, we see Nothing. A 3D project needs a camera. So now we could put this camera in the current scene, but it makes more sense to create a main scene that just instances the explosion and put the camera there. Don't forget to set it at the current camera, save the scene and set it as the main scene. Now we see something, but the background is the default sky. 
In Fireworks 2020, I used a word environment node. Here, we can add the environment directly to the camera. Set the background to a black background and while we're at it, activate glow and as always go overboard with the glow. Activate all the levels. Set the threshold below 1 so normal colors will glow. This looks nice. We can play some more with it later. Now we need a rocket for the explosion. So we create a new scene, create particles and reuse the mesh and material from the explosion. Let's shorten the time, set the direction to emit the particles downwards, only a little spread. A velocity, some more particles. Now that the particles have a velocity, we set the lifetime even lower to shorten the rocket's tail. Our rocket needs no visible body. In the night you only see the tail and I get away without creating anything more complex than particles. We change the root node to be a rigid body to have its movement methods. Normally this needs a collision shape, but since we don't want to collide with anything, we are ignoring it. Create a script for the rocket and set the linear velocity in the ready function. Add the rocket to the main scene. And it flies up and comes down because of gravity. Let's hide the explosion. Better. A bit trying out, another at velocity. taking the camera to what might be head level of the user and panning it up. We can now delete the explosion and change the rocket script, so it will be created there. When the rocket gets too slow, it is at the peak of its flight. So that's a good point to explode. Create an instance of the explosion scene. Set it to the same position as the rocket. Add it as a child of the parent of the rocket, aka the main scene, and then remove the rocket. Okay, the explosion is still playing in a loop. You can change this by setting the particles one shot in the editor. But I prefer to set it in the script for the explosion. So I can try the particles in the editor and they keep animating.
but in the game they are a one-shot. Here we are, rockets flies up and explodes once. Now write some code to free the explosion when the particles have finished. I like to set a breakpoint to check if the code is called. It is. Now one rocket is a bit boring. So let's check if there's only one node left in the scene. This would be the camera and instantiate a new rocket. That's a bit better and I wanted to stop here. But let's do a little bit more and make the rocket velocity a bit random so it explodes in different heights. Turn local cords off for the rocket tail. And spawn the rocket in random locations. and reposition the camera. And create a timer to launch the rockets, so one doesn't have to wait for the other. Okay, now we did different colors. Let's create different color ramps. Don't forget to make them unique. Save them and load a random color ramp in each explosion. Okay, I have to stop. The video is getting too long. But this should cover the basics. There is no itch.io page yet, but you can find the whole project on GitHub. The link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay healthy and see you next time.